Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. It's episode 213, I think. We're the Cooker Shuffle Guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. And it's our Christmas episode. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's currently Christmas Eve Eve. Um, Dave's getting a hat. Um, and I'm back in Buffalo. Drove up uh, with, oh God, <laughs> drove up with Riley and the dogs. You know, Dave, the drive up wasn't that bad this time around. No, that's like a good, but that's like fluffy on the bottom. That's nice. Yeah, the other one looks like shit. Yep. Um, no, it wasn't a bad drive. Yeah, nice. Keep the hat on. It's good. You know, they sell Santa hats that have like. Oh yeah, they should that because like you know they can just adjust it to. Yeah. Now Santa wears his. Sorry to interrupt your drive up, but there you go. Santa wears it here. Yeah, it just like, looks strange. It's like slightly forward, yeah. This Which, just doesn't look right. Maybe it's because I'm not Santa Claus and I don't have a full suit. Maybe he does it more like this. And I think that looks good. Yours looks really good right now. Mine looks like this is mom's. I left mine in Florida. This looks like crap. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, this is a nice. Yeah. The other one I have. Mine's very just like mine looks like just a white piece of paper taped onto a red hat. <laughs> I have the one with the beard now. Yeah. And I don't know if it's the same one that you had, but it's trash. Mine was not good. I wore it. Um, I'll get up and get that. Okay. Um, it's just get both. So this is the trash one that I'm talking about. This still looks better than mine. It just looks like it looks like it's been dipped in muddy water. Yeah, it's like and then tried to be washed. It's like damp and not damp, but like it feels like it was damp. It was. Damp. I washed them. Yeah, that looks exactly like the one I had. Yeah. So I one, it was too low, so I stapled the beard up. Yeah. And then it was still just like, well, one, I was doing the Santa Con with this uh bar crawl. Yeah. And I was like, I can't drink with this. So I pretty much put it on backwards. So I had like a mullet. Nice. It's like a Santa mullet, but yeah, this thing is Yeah, they're not like comfortable. I, I there was one that was like a full thing yeah yeah but it was 50 bucks yeah not worth it and then there was like the full suit for like 75 with the beard and i was like well i would just do that i should just do that then. uh i mean yeah if you're gonna buy it's like a pile of red shit <laughs> sure yeah if you're gonna buy anything like spend 25 more dollars buy the whole suit right um tell you what though what i hate about santa hats is how itchy my forehead gets dude yeah so irritating it never, never like this. Like, make the inside fuzzy. Hey, dude, just do like, anything, anything but whatever it is. Anything but the plastic material that it currently is. But anyways, so the drive up wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, stopped a couple of times. Switched every every few hours. <clears throat> um, I thought you were gonna be a lot sooner. I thought you were gonna be here like five o'clock. Well, that was the plan originally. We were gonna leave at midnight. Um. And then I was not done packing until I also changed my oil, to, like right before we left. Oh. Um, so between the oil change and the packing, I didn't, we didn't go to sleep until like 1130 at night. So I was like, we're not waking up a half an hour and trying to drive. So I was like, let's sleep for at least a few hours. Woke up at 230, got ready, got on the road. So three o'clock is when we left. So we ended up getting here at 10 instead of five. It would have probably ended up being like seven that we got here if we left at midnight, but we were supposed to get i think it was originally supposed to get in at eight or eight thirty or something like that i was like we'll get there at 10 there's no way we get there at the time it says All right with the dogs and everything but we stopped in west virginia at a just a rest stop and it's one of those rest stops where like everybody has their dogs it's got like a big oh, okay. big property um there were so many fucking dogs there was a german shepherd big fluffy thing it was so cute and there was a chocolate lab puppy and i was like this dog's fucking adorable <laughs> um yeah, that was that was fun. There was a lot of dogs there, um, and ours, mine, were the only ones fucking being obnoxious and barking at everybody walking by. And I'm like, why? Embarrassing me. Yeah, <laughs> make it a scene. <laughs> um, but uh, there was something that oh, there was something I was talking about on the drive up that I was like, I have to talk talk, talk about this on the podcast. The other day, I was down in Florida. Um, this was like four days ago, and uh it was like right before, it was two days before we left um i woke up in the middle of the night and now i sleep in boxers okay <laughs> and i have roommates 
not a lot of people were home because most of us have already gone home for most of us had already gone home for Christmas. But nonetheless, there are still roommates home. I woke up at like two, three o'clock in the morning. Nobody should be awake. And thank God nobody was. But just this is part of the story because I was terrified that somebody was going to be awake. <laughs> and I woke up because I had a terrible stomach ache. Now keep in mind, this is like either two days or the day before we left. I was like, motherfucker, if I'm sick before this trip mm-hmm. and I'm trying to drive up and I got the shits, I'm going to be miserable. And so I wake up and I'm like, this is bad. Like it's one of those stomach aches where you're like, I need to get this out of me badly. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't have time to put pants on just to walk across the hall to the bathroom. What? Yeah, for me too. Well, my worry was, God forbid somebody's awakened in the kitchen right now. And here I am walking out and fucking. Oh my God, naked. No, I'm not naked, but I'm just in boxers. I work with these people, Dave. I don't want that. To, I don't want them to see me in my boxers. <laughs> so. Luckily, nobody was, thank God. But I walked in the bathroom, sat down, and just fucking lava, dude. Straight lava out of me. And it was like, I just sat there just like, (laughs) (laughs) shivering on the toilet, doing that little rock when you're just like in pain. It was fucking awful. I sat there for probably like 20, 25 minutes. Um, And I was like, okay, I think I'm... I think I'm okay enough to go back to bed. Walk my ass back to bed. And it, oh, dude, it, the smell. I hate to talk. I hate to get so in detail, but the smell was so bad. I don't know what I ate that day, uh, but it was horrendous. And I'm like desperately trying to remember what I ate and I cannot for the life of me. But it was awful. I went back to bed. Huh? I was going to keep going. Okay. Went back to bed, just like laid like face down on my stomach in bed, just like cuddling a pillow. Woke up, went to work. It was fine all day. I was fine the next day. So I guess I've been good, but I was, I was, I was worried for a second there. It was a rough, it was a rough 30 minutes in the bathroom. Did, um, did we have a podcast after? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, I told a story recently, right. About, um, after coming home from, uh, Longhorn, I think, for mom's um, birthday. I want to say yes, because I know you talked about going there. I don't recall the story, though. So that day, and just to clarify, it wasn't Longhorn. So Longhorn, this is an event. <laughs> I still love your food. Yeah. And I still like the food that I had it's before. Pod. I still have the food, or I still like the food that I had before. But, you know, yeah, I also enjoyed the fucking French toast that I had at Richville Pancake House one time, which gave me fucking food poisoning for three yeah. days or something. Yeah, it's awful. Um, and I just will never go back there. I've been there before, never did anything. So either way, went to Teas and Taps uh, and I got a uh, chicken and waffle sandwich. Yeah. Now, when I was eating it, it was a little juicy. Chicken and waffle sandwich? Chicken and waffles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sandwich. Sandwich. Um but waffles I, is the bread, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I mostly just call it chicken and waffles. Yeah, yeah. Um that's yeah. Um so went there and you know, I was eating, I was like, it seems a little like juicy more juicy than it should be, right okay. So but I was just like, well, no, you know, it didn't taste bad. Yeah. And then Tyler got his, he was like, Is this a little undercooked and or is this just dark meat and i was like i don't know i was like i'll play i'll let you know in an hour if anything bad <laughs> yeah so <laughs> then we go to um longhorn yeah and i have uh pork chops and mashed potatoes and still fine but then on the ride home started hitting you it was like i think it was like probably when i'm like I honestly it wasn't I don't even think it I think it was when I got like in the in the driveway. And then I start I start uh walking, like going to the door and I'm like, oh man, I I gotta take a shit. Yeah. And then as I'm getting closer to the my bathroom, I'm like, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm taking everything off of me. Yeah. Like I got I had like I was putting stuff down, I had I had leftovers. Yeah. So I dropped those off downstairs first. And then like I put those down. And I un- I undid them, put them in the fridge. I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but I was just giving myself. Yeah, you're risking time, time right now. So that and this bathroom right there that I could. Yeah, you could have. You bypassed the bathroom, but um, 
I walked up, I, I walked upstairs, took my jacket off, had to take some other necessities off. <laughs> um, and then finally I'm getting in the bathroom, I'm undoing my belt, belt was not cooperating, didn't have the one that could just yeah. click. So I'm doing this and I'm like, I'm <laughs> rushing. <laughs> Dude, so I'm just like, I'm like, I gotta get this off, man. <laughs> so then finally, <laughs> I do it. I swear to God, <laughs> if I would have breathed, I would have shit my pants. <laughs> you did not tell this story. Yeah. So, um, so finally, I uh, finally I get my pants off or down, and then just on the leash. And I texted Tyler. Go yeah. Ahead. No, go ahead. I texted Tyler, and I was like, "Yeah, I think it was undercooked." I think it was a little. He's like, "I feel fine." <laughs> good for him so um yeah so i don't know I, so you know one could argue it was the pork chops one could but those look those look fine yeah um dad also had them he was he fine. was fine so it was just, maybe he just ate so much that day could have been yeah but i don't think it would have caused the um the flow yeah <laughs> eating that much man maybe i would have been like ah, man i gotta take shit and yeah. been, i would just been bloated whatever but it wouldn't have been as spicy. Dude, as being it was. bloated is the fucking worst. I was bloated at work. I think it might have been the day after I had the fucking diarrhea Long incident. Family. Yeah. Um, and I just it's just like I, I'm walking like hunched over all day because it's the only way to like ease the pain of being bloated. I don't think I've ever been not that I've ever been bloated, but like dude, it sucks. But like if you just I, like want to fart so badly, and you just like it. Sometimes it just won't come out. But like a good, you know, it needs to be like a good like. Like, let me give you a perfect example. Last night I was, uh, or two nights ago, when, the first night we got here, um, we were going to bed, and we were sleeping on the air mattress downstairs. Um, dogs get the bed. I'm fucking on an air mattress. Jesus. Um, well, they're gonna ruin the air mattress. That's true. Um, so, but I like wanted to release some of the air from like the pillow part of it. So I'm releasing some air and I just like turn the dials to release the air. It goes, and I go, that's the kind of fart that I need when I'm bloated. But you know, something like that, a long airy one, it's going to be so right. It's going to just gas out everybody within a 10 foot radius. Yeah. I guess I actually have been bloated. Um, was it the, uh, um, I mean, sometimes, dude, oh, dude, <laughs> yeah, I have been then. Yeah. You know those like, videos of, like, cows that have bloat? No. Oh, dude, there's, like, it's, like, a condition. Cows will just, like, get gas buildup in the, inside them. And the only way to, like, release it, if they can't release it themselves, is they literally poke a fucking hole in the cow. Ew. And, like, they'll, like, literally take, like, a screw. It's, like, a plastic thing. Like, a plastic, it's got, like, a pointed end and then an open end. And it's got a plug in it. And they take it and it's a sharp pointy end and they screw it into the cow's fucking skin. It's, so basically it's like, imagine you're bloated, right? They screw it into your into your gut and then they pull the plug and it just releases all the, all the gas. First of all, probably feels fucking amazing after being stabbed. Yeah. But I mean, like you watch a cow deflate. Like it's it's fucking wild, it's and the smell of it, I haven't smelled it myself. But Riley told me about it, and like you can the videos on on TikTok will talk about the smell almost all the time because it's just like pure methane coming out of them, just reeks, <laughs> fucking reeks. <laughs> and sometimes when I'm bloated, I want that done to me. I want somebody to just stick a fucking thing and just release my gas. Probably fucking reeks to hell, but yeah. oh god, I bet it feels so good. Um. When I, a lot of times, if I'm hanging out with friends, and it's like, you know, I'll fart around friends. Yeah, I won't, but yeah. But sometimes I just like, no, I'm just like, I don't know about this one. I think it's going to smell, you know? And because usually if it's like, you know, silent but deadly, it's Those usually are, the case for me. Yeah, silent but deadly. And if they're loud, it's just, it's just nothing. There. Yeah, it's yeah. just there. So sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. And also, too, if it is going to be, like, extra loud, I'm just like, nah. And maybe it's not with friends. Maybe it's just, like, I'm out. Yeah. And I just, I'm sitting on a wooden chair. Yeah. And it's going to stop. Yeah. I don't know. So either way, sometimes, you know, I'll just, I'll be a little uncomfortable. I'm just going to be, I have to, and I have to fart. Yeah. 
And when I get into my car, dude, I'm just like, like, <laughs> dude, I'll literally just be sitting there driving home. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, three minutes later, just like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's just like, why do you close your eyes so much when you do it? I don't know. I'm just trying to, <laughs> I mean, I think I'm imitating what I'm doing, but I don't know. It's just like, you know, it's just a good feeling when you get yeah, out. Yeah, it typically is. It's just, <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I've had some spicy ones lately. Yeah. Burns the nostrils a little bit. The nostrils? There's nothing. Yeah. Your asshole. No, burns the nostrils. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing worse than like when you think you got like a, you think in your safe space, you're like, I'm letting this one loose. And then somebody walks in the room. <laughs> what? Dude. Dude. I, and now you're trying to like, disperse the air now you're like i gotta move around make it you're like is, does it as soon as they walk in does it smell in here does it somebody fucking died <laughs> i definitely um i definitely have have farted and then um like i i if i like go out because you know it it it, ta- it attaches to you for a little 100%. bit yeah it, it, if you're walking it'll yeah yeah so like I forgot where I was, but I was just like, I farted and then I like waited for a little bit and I, and I smelled it. And then I was just like, turning <laughs> around and doing all this. And then I was like, I still smell it. And yeah. I walked, walked away like five feet or something like that. I, was like, I, I still smell it. Yeah. And then people, I was like, oh, here. <laughs> yeah, no, I had somebody recently, uh, I farted and somebody walked in. And got like right next to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, "What are you doing? Why are you coming over here?" Okay. It's just you know, it, I don't understand. You know, it's just a bodily function. It is, right? But it's a horrible bodily function. Awful, absolutely terrible. It's just like, oh man, I feel bad for the people who, yeah, have to walk into this. And yeah. It's just like, if somebody farts, I mean, you. It's like, oh man, it's not fucking my ass. <laughs> That's all you got. That's all you can say. Some that's all you like, can do. Some people, some people will be like, "Yo, who the fuck just ripped ass?" Yeah, and I will do that around friends sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> so, but yeah, well, it's rough. It's never as bad as Tyler. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. I've had some bad. Ones. I I don't know that I've ever had one nearly as bad. <laughs> like sometimes it's just like, you know, it's like, oh man, you know, that's yeah. what else. But sometimes I'm just like, dude, I have to leave this room for my own fuck. <laughs> It's like it's your own part, you know. Yeah. You're just like, oh, man, you know, whatever. But I've had some, some, sums. I've had some, yeah. Go. And I'm just like, dude, this is so rancid, so rancid. Yeah, dude, I had to leave. Yeah. Um, when you jumping back to what I was going to interrupt you with earlier, when you yeah. said you were like taking your pants off, and you, then you just said you mean taking them down or like pulling them down. Yeah. I used to have a friend when I was growing up, who when they would take a shit, they would fully declothe, unclothe. Like shirt? I think, I know for sure pants. That's too much. Yeah. Like fully off. Like dude, sometimes I can't even get them just past my butt cheeks before I have to fucking, <laughs> before I have to <laughs> unload. <laughs> Like, how is this dude fully taking them off? I don't know. More importantly, why? That too. Yeah. No, I had a, I had a friend growing up. Yeah, who, but like young? You were young? I mean, St. Bernard, so yeah. Yeah. But like, I mean, I was there all the way up until the fifth grade. So yeah, take so that like, into context. I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I, I can, not that I understand it, because I never did it as like a kid. Yeah. But like. I mean, I'm not talking like kindergarten. I'm I know that. Like, yeah, okay. Okay, but the fifth grade, that's only 10 years old. That's still a child. No. 10 years old in the fifth grade? Yeah. No. 11. Shit. I mean, down 10. Because you're 13 when you're like in eighth grade. 12, 13. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. So. No, because I turned 15 my freshman year. Did I? No, you did not. 2000, 2011? Dude, I was 17 when I graduated. Shut up. Hold on. 97, 98, 99, 2000. I was four. So 2011. Yeah, I turned 15 my freshman year of high school. 
Okay. So I was, you were not 19 when you graduated. Wasn't I? <laughs> um, no, the, the max you'd be is 18, unless you're a person who starts a grade earlier. And most of those people are usually 18. No, because people. my birthday's in May. Yeah, it means you would be, gra yeah, so like, you're just graduating. Oh, let me think about this. Yeah, go ahead. Because mine's only two months after you. Yeah, but you're a summer birthday. Yeah, so what? So you age before the new year, like before the new school year. Yeah, and you age just at the end of it. Yeah. So so that would mean I I turned 19 before I graduated. Okay, that doesn't make a difference. You're still 10 or 11 in fifth grade. Yeah, I'm not trying to say that I was fucking 12 years old. I'm just well, saying like... Yeah, but you're making it... When I said 10, you were like, 10, no. <laughs> okay, well, 11 a big difference. Yeah, it's a year. Anyways. Anyways. So yeah, either way, 10 or 11... It's still too old to be taking your taking everything off. Yeah, but I was. I mean, I'm. Yeah. When did, did you ever take all of your clothes off to take a shit as a child? No. Exactly. No, I. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I, I. I never did it. Yeah. But it's just like it's not somebody doing it now. No, that would be weirder. But it it's was very like, weird back then. But me. I was also saying like, like I probably didn't have as many stomach issues growing up. When I was that young. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, oh man, I gotta take a shit. You know, I took a shit. And I had time to take my pants off. Yeah. Sometimes now it's just like, dude, I don't know if I can it's take coming. my pants off. You know, I remember I was like at their house and I was gonna say, one, were you in the bathroom with them? No, no, no. <laughs> I was at his house. Excuse me. Um, I was at his house and he, um, I remember him like rushing into the bathroom. So like he had to go. Still, still took the time to take all take take his entire bottom, at least all the bottoms off. Because I remember like he like threw like his pants against the door, like away from him. You were like, what was that? Or something? And I like I sounded like the, either like the belt or just like the the button hitting the door. And then I'm pretty sure I saw a pant leg under the door. Like it like you know managed to slide its way through. Because I heard that and I was like, what's up? And I went over there and looked and I saw a fucking pant leg. And I was like, I fucking take his pants I mean, off. maybe he had the shit that bad. That's why he took him off. I don't know what that means. Nobody's got a shit that bad that you need your pants off. <laughs> well, they Unless like, you're going into hey, like a fucking surgical you know, position. Like, he's like, dude, this might be... My guess? He pooped hole. himself a little bit. That could that's be the only reason I take my pants off. That could be too. But even then, I'd still wait till after I'm done. Yeah, I mean, I'm not taking him off. Because, like, in the motion of you having to... I mean, unless he was sitting down already. I don't know. Dude. And then he was just like, you know. Yeah. Fucking weird. Especially if you got company. If you need to take your pants all the way off to poop, fine. Do it in the privacy of your own home. Which he was. He wasn't private, though. I was there. Well, how do you know he did this often? If you do it when friends are over, yeah, you do it been, more often. It could often. have been a circumstance. I don't think it was. I think it was under the circumstances. I don't know that it was. I don't I don't recall what happened after. That's like the one memory from that day. Um, but, you know, the only one or two things happened. He got new pants or he put those pants back on. If he put those pants back on, that means it's fucking weird. And there was no circumstance. If he got new pants, that means he shit himself. <laughs> but you would have known if he got new pants. Yeah, I think you're right. So I think he probably put those pants back on. Well, he shit himself when he put them back on because he could. He didn't. He wouldn't. He didn't want to be like, Psst. you know. He played it cool and yeah. was like, "Yo, I'm just gonna go up to my room, get some." Yeah. And you're like, "Yo, well, weren't you wearing jeans before?" <laughs> so that's what pants on. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I just it was more it was comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe he played it off so well. Maybe. And he did shit his pants. Good for him. Double down, you know? There was one time I shit my pants when I was riding the dirt bike. Nice. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> like recently? No. No. <laughs> uh, when we only had the big wheels. Yeah. Um, And I had to, like, I, I, I rode up, like, standing. Because I wasn't about to sit back down. Yeah. <laughs> I remember 
crying. <laughs> I was like, and I was riding the bike, like Keen was riding the other one, I think. And I went back up and I was, I think I was, I was, I think I was, I don't know if I was crying on the way back up or when she like got back up there, she's, and she was like, what's, what's wrong? And when she asked me, I was like, eh, shit, my pit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was rough. Yeah. And it was, it was not to be out <laughs> pudding. <laughs> those are usually yeah you rarely yeah log your fans <laughs> no one ever dude if you just that's that's voluntary yeah if and, you're logging your pants you are you are forcing a, a dump out yeah because i have once had, i one time had diarrhea ran down my leg <laughs> yeah didn't make it to the bathroom in time i was like i was hauling ass to the bathroom <laughs> didn't make it Ran that ran down my leg. I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm, I'm my and my assholes think, getting a little antsy just thinking about it. <laughs> Anyways, let's That's enough shit talk. Yeah, let's try and gear this towards uh towards Christmas, shall we? Yeah, fucking happy happy shitsmiths. Shits, um, shitsmiths. I got a thing here. You go ahead while I pull this up. I'm gonna say uh, so we celebrated um Friendsmas last yeah last Saturday. Didn't wait for me. That's cool. No, definitely not. Um. We got a uh, pretty good time. Tyler made some punch. Um, he made, uh, it was like Prosecco, vodka, orange juice, cranberry juice, and uh, orange juice, cranberry juice, and pineapple juice. And then assorted fruits, like cut up some lemons, some limes, yeah. put some cherries in there. Um, uh, so that was pretty good. Um, played played some games you've seen the ones on tiktok where it's like a um cupcake pan they bounce bounce a yes ping a pin, ping pong ball yeah and then played that um shout out to tyler and katie um for setting it all up katie yeah. had they all had had red solo cups with like tissue paper on it with mm-hmm. a number on it and whatever number you got you got it was like a fat little like what i got was uh, one of those small bags of m&ms and like a five dollar tip horns gift card it's pretty good so um just like little stuff you don't yeah. need to like go all out with friends um one of them like i know tom he got just all just he didn't get a gift card he just got a bigger bag of candy and it was all blue sour patch kids and i was like nice damn he had it and i was like oh dude nice did you bring those he's like no i got it in my cup i was like oh. that's huge i was like let me know when you open those yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um what else did we play um i think you know, didn't you do the saran wrap thing no no that the the uh ping pong ball was in place of the saran wrap um and then we had our like our our santa uh secret santa yeah stuff. uh pretty cool i got i got uh sour patch kids nice They're downstairs uh almost gone car air fresheners um and downy cider nice yeah so good stuff that is good i um celebrate friends didn't didn't we didn't do a friends miss um down in florida just because like there's between between us hosting friendsgiving and then we're also hosting new year's eve we were like there's no fucking time that and the amount of people that are like going home before christmas we just didn't have time um so I would have liked to have had like a had a friends miss down there, but it's too complicated. We did do um, a secret Santa between the coordinators at work, but the deadline for bringing the gift in was the twenty third, which means most people bring the gift in on the twenty third, which means today, uh, and I'm not there. Oh. So luckily, and she doesn't know it yet, and she won't watch this episode before Christmas. But my the secret Santa that I got was Riley. That's so bullshit. huh? That's bullshit. It was random, and actually, I didn't have her originally. Um, the, my friend who set it up, Tessa, she had like sent out the email and was like, it all did, we did, we did it through Elfster. Um, and it was all randomized and sent out. And I got the email who I had. And I was like, okay, I, I know, I knew who the person was because it wasn't just our coordinating team. It was like all of my area, like all of Africa. Yeah. Um, yeah. All of Africa. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I knew the person. I just didn't know them. I didn't, I don't work with them. I didn't know them well. Um, and I was like, okay, it's fine. Um, plus you added a wish list. So it doesn't fucking matter if you know them or not. Um, but then one of our bosses was like, hey, is it still too late to, is it too late to sign up? And Tessa was like, 
I mean, I guess not. So she had to re it was redo. Yeah, she had to redo everything, and so it redrew all the names. I got Riley, and I was like, "That's fine though," um, because it's easy. That just means I had to buy her an extra Christmas present. Yeah, I guess. Um, so and it's funny because like everybody has has been like talking about who they had, but you're not gonna get one, or are you? I won't get mine until I go back down. Oh, so somebody yeah, okay. somebody got me. I don't know who, but I won't get it until I go back down there next week um but yeah so we're doing that which is we've done it for the past couple years and it's fun i usually get that's how i got the first avengers poster that i have up in my office and then i think i bought the second one um and i think i think i asked for the next one on my wish list this year um they're hard to find on amazon though for some reason i can't find the right ones but hopefully somebody doesn't get me a dog shit one I think, uh, didn't I get you one? Oh, I was gonna. I think I was gonna. No. I think I had you one. You got me a Captain Marvel, like, little, like, small one a couple years ago. I think it was Captain Marvel. Did? Pretty sure. I don't know. Not one that I hung up. Just putting that out there. (laughs) I only do the full size. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so we got it. We have a good thing here. Perfect that we're talking about Christmas gifts. 13, this is from, uh, this is from the 19th, this, this past tuesday uh 13 awful christmas gifts that nobody wants to get um i think i want one of them you think you'll want one of them i I haven't read this at all yet um so we'll start with number i don't know if they're in any specific order no they're done i don't think they are we'll start with number one uh self-help books um yeah (laughs) dude if dude if i got that as a book i'd be like yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? Are you, what, are you, what are you trying to say to me? Like, that's fucked. Listen, I'm sure I'll need some help, but don't tell me, okay? <laughs> this one, uh, it says, similar to how gifting fitness paraphernalia is a bit problematic, having someone unwrap a nice parcel only to see taking control of your depression or how to break the cycle of unhealthy eating is only going to signal the recipient that you think something's wrong with them. And yeah. That's rough. Yeah. That'd be like getting Brother John, like, well, not now, but like years ago, getting him like, how to how to talk about your alcoholism <laughs> uh number two is keychains i don't I mean, want them yeah i i have i mean you've seen the amount of keys that i used to carry around on yeah. the fucking like bracelet that i made just a fuck ton of keys keys to family video that i never returned like shit like that <laughs> so, so now i just walk around with my house key and my car key and yeah. right now, all I have is my car key because my house key is there so somebody can take care of the cats. Yeah. And I also never use the house key. Either the door is always unlocked because I live in a gated community and I trust everybody or I use my garage door opener. Yeah. So I, I never use the, the, the key to the house. I, uh, yeah, I just have my, um, my truck keys. And then the other day I found a keychain, like a Harley Davidson keychain. Yeah. I was like, yeah, sure, toss it on. Yeah, if it's like one of those like little, like a rubber one. No, it's a full metal. Oh wow! Yeah, I had like I, a, that's why I was hesitant. I almost didn't put it on the room. Yeah, I had like a like a rubber one for for a while. I had that wicked one that was metal, but I was like, this. I just like now I'm like 27 years old. I don't need a keychain. No. What are you gonna? I'm not gonna. I'm not. I wouldn't be annoyed, but I wouldn't put it on my keys. Yeah, depending like, on what it was, I'd, I'd like toss it on my bookshelf for yeah in a box. So, so I don't. Not that I, yeah, I don't want it, but I'd accept it. The yeah. Self-help books. Are uh, this one, number three, I don't, I don't know that I agree with it. Photo frames or picture frames as most people call them. Um, Is there a picture in it? I don't know. This one says, unless you're a primary school kid, primary school, what, what is this British? Yeah. Um, unless you're a primary school kid who's just made an ugly, cute art project with macaroni and spray paint, don't give people photo frames, especially if there isn't even a photo included. Uh, it's largely that empty picture frames are bad luck as the space invites negative energy. So the least you can do is fill it with a nice, soothing print. Uh, first of all, that's stupid. It's negative energy. Suck my ass. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, somebody gave me a blank picture frame. Picture frame. We've given mom several yeah. picture frames. But she's got pictures. That's to typically, put in. yeah, typically because she's got a lot of pictures and she wants to put them like, on. So we're like, here, you pick the pictures, here's the photos, or yeah. here's the picture frame. And it's got like 17. Right. I do not have photos to put in that. Yeah, no, I don't want to. do I want to take the time? If somebody like got me 
don't know. I don't even know that I want one with a picture in it. Like well, I have a phone. More inclined to take it. I oh absolutely. But like I've got all my pictures on my phone. I don't need them framed. Yeah. The only thing I want framed is like my posters. It's nice to have framed pictures. I don't have a use like, for them. Yeah, I mean, I have that, but like, I don't even have that. I don't even know where that is. I think it's in my bedroom downstairs. So, like, I just don't have a use. For, like, I don't have yeah. a place to put them, so yeah. I don't have a use for them. Like, I don't have a mantle. Dude, trust me. If I had, we talked about this last time. If I had a mantle, Christmas cards going up. There. Oh my god, yeah. Picture frames. I found a place for my Christmas cards this year, dude. Might be incriminating, but we got mail that was it to our address for sure. Incriminating. Okay, we got it's not for you. We got mail that wasn't to our address, or sorry, that was to our address, but somebody that doesn't live there anymore. It's like an old, like, because we rent it, somebody who used to rent it, and their family or loved one uh, clearly does not, is not that loved because they don't know that they moved to a new house. Um, so it got sent to us. I have no way of fucking knowing where this guy lives anymore. So I was like, I know this is yeah, a person. You don't have person. to know. Huh? You just say it doesn't live here anymore. Well, um didn't feel like doing that it gets returned to center. so i was i was like i know this is a christmas card it was the right size red envelope <clears throat> so i was like fuck it ripped it open read it and it said merry christmas to blah 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 from the newmans and i was like oh, how sweet <laughs> i put it up on display with my other christmas cards i have one from uncle barbara and Aunt frank uh i have like a like a you're the best son you're our favorite son card from mom and dad. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like not really a Christmas card, but it's got like a flying moose with like light up antlers. So I, I kind of is. Yeah. Um, so I put those, I put those two cards and then the one from the Newmans on like, there's this like little like let like weird cutout in our kitchen that has like a small like ledge on it right next to a table. And I just put them there. It's like, it doesn't say dear Dan. And we don't have a Dan in the house. It just from the from the newmans and i was like this nobody's gonna know that this isn't to one of us but the card was addressed to so the envelope was addressed to yes but the card itself just says merry christmas yada 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 from i don't think it's the newmans i'm gonna keep saying newmans though from the newmans and i was like this could be to me yeah <laughs> so i opened it i kept it <laughs> but yes i put those on display um uh, number four is clocks no. Cantonese speakers will know that clocks make for particularly inauspicious gifts. In fact, some see them as downright ominous, as the Chinese word for clock is zong. Sounds exactly like the same word for death. Does not. Hmm. Giving someone a clock. Or like in Chinese, it sounds like the same word for death. And yeah. No. Zong doesn't sound like death. It's like, dude, what? Yeah, no, like the, the Chinese word death sounds like a Chinese word for clock. Uh, giving someone a clock as a present, therefore, symbolically means sending them off for their on their final journey towards the afterlife. Huh. Um, <clears throat> the only reason I'd want a clock is if it was... If I'd, like, just moved into a new house and I was like, I'd really like... I'd really like, like, a clock right there. And somebody was like... You go. I got you a clock, and I'd be like, yeah, "That's perfect. That's the clock I wanted." I don't think I ever want a clock in my house. You'll get a clock in your house, won't you? Well, I guess I don't have a clock no, in my it's house. It's just gonna have, have the microwave, have the have oven, a, yeah, gonna have your phone, watch, or you'll have like a. By that point, you know, you'll have like a digital display in every house. Sc mm, screen at that time. You well, I mean, like, house like most <laughs> most people have it now, so like. By the time you get your own house, everybody will have a digital display of, of like the fucking weather report. And, oh, yeah. I don't think I most people call that a TV nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean like you know, like the Alexa, like so like now you go out and buy like an Echo Dot, right? It's just a little fucking tiny things. I don't think they even sell those anymore. But like this Black Friday, I went to Best Buy. You know how they like throw the all the Alexas in like a little bin? They're like twenty bucks for an Alexa. I'm like steal, take five of those. Now they throw the fucking screens alexas mm. in the box 20 bucks i'm like jesus it's crazy didn't know they had screen alexas yep Box. i almost i almost bought those to replace everybody's alexas that i bought two years ago and i was like i don't need to do that people don't even use the alexas i bought them 
I don't even use the Alexa. I bought myself. I use mine for my alarm. Yeah, I know that. I get annoyed when I have that fucking yellow ring for any Amazon deliveries. I'm just like, I have to get rid of it. Yeah. What's my notification? Yeah. <laughs> you know, one notification. Mine, delivered. I keep getting afraid that like, because like, you know how like months later, it'll ask you for a review, one to five stars. No. Well, it'll do that. Stop paying attention. Um, and it'll say three months ago you purchased and it'll tell you what you purchased. And I'm, I'm terrified that like, and I don't purchase anything like suspicious on Amazon, but like, I'm waiting for it to say like something weird that I bought or like a gift that I bought that I hadn't yet given. Like, let's say I bought a gift three months in advance, which I don't do, but let's say I did. Yeah. And then it says three months ago, you bought this for this person it doesn't take this person but you bought this and that person's sitting right there and you're like I'm so, so, so. Yeah. but yeah it asks me for reviews constantly maybe it doesn't ask you because i because you don't give reviews every time it asks me i go yeah. four five anytime it asks me it's like um you can do this if you go to the settings and do you would you want me to do no no shut up Alex. I used to use my Alexa a lot for like turning on my LED lights. Um, I do that. I, I don't anymore. App. I just don't. I yeah. don't have. Uh, I don't turn them on often. Yeah. Um, but like, if I the one time I had to get out of bed to turn my light off. Yeah. But I was just like, "Hey Alexa, turn these on," so I can fucking see. Yeah. Hey. But she also says, uh, "I think she does now say not responding." Because like I unplugged the lights and her so many times, mm -hmm. um, so I think I actually just turned my phone and turned them on. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so no clocks. Um, pets is number five. Give me a pet, dude. Dude, somebody give me a pet. A gleeful child pulling out a puppy from a ribbon to box under a Christmas tree. Maybe don't put the puppy in a box. Yeah. Um, uh, is the is only romantic on a Hallmark card. In real life, suddenly having a whole living being on your hands is not so cute. Even if it's something as small as a guppy, getting a pet is a personal decision that you just can't make for someone else. By all means, give if you that you can't make for someone else. No, if you want to buy your child, yeah, a child is different. Than like I'm not gonna go buy Cameron, our nephew, a dog. No, like, but like if Tina and Sarah got him a dog, that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, because it's more for them. As well, they definitely want a dog. Exactly, yeah. And like if you're buying your child a dog, it's because you also want a dog. But it's or would, you're whipped by your child. I would say um you can't get a, a pet. <clears throat> you can't spontaneously get a pet for let's say a girlfriend. No. Because a fish, fine. I, if someone gave me a fish, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, unless you're like a big fish person. Yeah, but like, and and you can get them a girl, you can get your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, um, a pet if they say, "Man, I really want a golden retriever puppy." Yeah, and then you're just like, "I'm gonna get one." Yeah. They specifically told you, "Man, golden retriever puppy." That's ex that's an expensive Christmas yeah. gift right there. That's the only thing they're getting if I'm getting them that. Right. So it's like if they specifically say, "Man, I want this." So unless you're together, like you're married or whatever, yeah, then it's like you can just get a dog because one, it's both yours, yeah, and you know, yeah, you shouldn't get like friend. You should not get get yeah, animals. Don't get your friends. Yeah, don't pets. get your friends' pets, and don't get other people's children pets. Obviously, um, but like your significant other, your child, get them pets. But be smart about it, right? Like we all know this time of year when it comes to dogs, the amount of dogs that, not this time of year, but the amount of dogs that end up in shelters two, three months from now, that's fucked. Is that high? Oh my God, dude, it's insane. The amount of, like the amount of, so like, so I gotta, I gotta shelters will get dogs. like cleared out. Yeah. Shelters, sh shelters will get like cleared out during the holidays because everybody wants to like, you know, rescue a pet for the hot for Christmas and like. Bring it, like, get their family, get, like, they get the family dog, and then they realize they don't have the fucking time to care for this dog. They don't realize how taxing it is to care for an animal. Yeah. Um, and so they just surrender them. They just give them up. And it's, it's like sickening, to be honest. Yeah. Not to get serious for a second here, but like, 
February, March. Go go get a new dog. Yeah. Because that's when like shelters get like overloaded. Because you know they're constantly getting dogs in anyways. Right. And so now come February, March, maybe April, for the you know, people want to try and stick it out, all these dogs end up in shelters. Um and now they're like the shelters are over full. Yeah. Not that a lot of shelters put dogs down anymore, but like God forbid it's one of those shelters who put do- who puts dogs down when they have too many. That's rough. And you know which ones are going first? Yeah, the old ones. Huh? Old ones. Oh, I meant like being taken first. Oh. Puppies. But yeah, the old ones are getting put down. Yeah. Puppies, um, popular dog breeds, like uh, like when I saw the husky, but when I got Newton, there was a husky at the pound, gone immediately. That dog's gone. Goldens are gone. The Rottweiler that was at the that was at the shelter one time before I got Darwin, that dog went pretty quickly, I think. Um, and then next after that, playful dogs, the ones that have good energy, don't bark that much, like the people they're they're hanging out with. Last to go, pit bulls and vicious dogs. Yeah. So just be mindful. And crooked looking dogs. Yeah, jank ass ones. Yeah, missing yeah. an eye. Yeah, three legs. Yeah, it's tough. No offense, but yeah. Anyways, uh, number six, statement mugs. Another mug. How original. This one's even got, this one's even got an insp- inspiring statement on it saying, do all things with love. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Unless somebody collects mugs. And even if, if, even if they collect mugs, don't get them one of these. Get them like a mug that like will add to their collection. Yeah, like New York City mug. Yeah. Or like, you know. Yeah. Something cool. Yeah. Something like specific. Don't get them a fucking... Well, this one says, don't talk to me before I finish my coffee. Fuck yourself, first of all, if you have a mug that says that. Second of all, if you buy a mug that says that, fuck you. Yeah, I wouldn't want a mug. Um, anyways, uh, number seven, anything that's obviously a re-gift. Uh, let's admit it, we've all done it. I've never re-gifted. I don't think I have. Re-gifting is a I've common practice. and Oh, absolutely. Re-gifting is a common practice, and it does help reduce waste. Uh, but those who overtly proclaim that they got this gift just for you and forgot that the recipient was around when you originally got the present well that's just distasteful yeah don't be gift just buy shit or make shit yeah um gift cards to places you never go to true i would suck is that a gift you're giving or getting gift getting like don't give somebody no these have all been things to not get or to no don't give don't give so don't give a gift card to someplace you don't go to it, it, it was worded weird but you know what they mean well gift cards can be a practical gift in many ways who would turn down an itunes coupon for a free meal at a michelin star restaurant that's not funny um sometimes it's just obvious that it's not a lot of that not a lot of thought was put into the present for instance getting gift cards to cake shops when the gifty is known to be on a diet or flower arrangement classes for someone who's allergic to pollen might not exactly be a good idea. Getting gift card gift cards to places you never go to. Is that mom? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, like if you haven't been there yourself, maybe don't get it unless you know they go there. If you're like, hey, this place looks interesting, but neither of you have ever gone, maybe you don't get a gift card for it. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Okay. Or it's like like I wouldn't get you a gift card to I mean I could, but like uh I was gonna say Harley Davidson, but dude, I fucking love that. Um yeah, I forgot they have apparel and stuff. Yeah. I was just thinking like you know motorcycles, so like why would you Yeah. You know? Um I'm trying to think. So a good example that I can come up with, there's this restaurant down in Florida called But you give me a you wouldn't get me a gift card to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> no i wouldn't because you don't fucking read yeah exactly they have other shit there by the way i know yeah. that yeah and i i would i would go there and get something other than a book you get a game a puzzle yeah. or some shit but it's like you wouldn't i wouldn't do it no i also wouldn't get a gift card just chat like just change that for us to gift cards i know you like gift cards yeah give me a gift card dude. Fuck, give me cash fuck gift cards fuck money don't just don't i hate those gifts why because they suck. So do the other ones. No, they because don't. Like, I want, I want, I'm a very materialistic person. Yeah, I want stupid. a thing. Give me a big box that I can unwrap with a with a with a fun thing inside of it. Yeah, but you could just get it for yourself. 
with a gift card. Not if the gift card's not enough money. Whatever. Anyways, this watch, Apple Watch, Dave got this for me. Did I? Talk about, yeah. This is Well, this is the one that I got during COVID. Remember that? When you were like, um, you're like, I'll just give you, I guess oh, it wasn't yeah, technically yeah, yeah. during COVID yet. Yeah, I forgot. It was like, yeah, pay for half. Of it. Christmas of 2019. Maybe going into 2020. Yeah, so it wasn't yet COVID. But yeah, Dave was like, it was the first year we'd done like a, we don't buy for all of our siblings. We just buy for one of our siblings. And Dave got me. I was like, let's go. Um, yeah. And I was like, I want an Apple Watch. He was like, I'll give you the money. You buy it. I was like, let's go. That was, big. That was a big gift. Anyways, um, but like, that's a thing, you know? Like, did you give me money? Yeah. Yes, but I, you knew what the money was going towards already. I, I, wouldn't have get, I wouldn't have asked for just money. It's just so much easier though. I hate it. Anyways, number nine, chocolates from brands no one's heard of. Yeah. Uh, I think just like chocolate in general really don't like, it's not a gift. Like if you're getting somebody chocolate, like that's not a gift. To grandma. Yeah. You get chocolate for your grandma. Exactly. Um, number 10, socks, socks, and more socks. Unless oh, you socks. are, yeah, unless you're our age where like, like you need socks and underwear, don't get socks. <laughs> I like I put socks on both of my both of my wish lists for the Secret Santa didn't get oh we didn't do our, our sibling one yet so um I do not know who has me. Well, I don't know who has me either. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um I know who has somebody else. What's the point then? Yeah. I also found no point in Secret Santa because it's like I asked when we did it for the friends, I was like, there's a wish list. Isn't it supposed to be like you get something you think they'd like? Technically, yes, but like nobody knows what anybody likes anymore. Yeah, well, it's stupid to do Secret Santa. Yeah, but like the nice thing is like you should build a long wish list and that way they can like yeah, too, yeah. and then they can pick whatever they want. And, and you're like, ooh, what am I gonna get? Hopefully it's something on my wish list, or it gives them ideas. Yeah. Like for like, for example, for our Secret Santa, I got Tina. And like I didn't buy anything off her wish. I might get her, she did ask for like a Walmart gift card. Fucking lame. But I got her something that I was going to get her last year and didn't, um, or two years ago, whenever it was. It's been sitting in my Amazon shopping cart for like ages. And so I got her it this year because I know she'll like it. Um, and then I might also get her a Walmart gift card or an Amazon gift card or some shit. Um, but anyways, socks, if you're like, think back to when you were a child. You didn't want socks for Christmas. No. You wanted a fucking Robo Raptor. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> or a, a remote control helicopter like you don't want fucking socks so unless you're an adult and you need socks you don't want socks for christmas uh we do get socks every year though we do from uncle dave and i love those socks i've worn them once uh i didn't wear last i have not worn last year's but um anything novelty is number 11 i don't what? really know what this means a sure novelty what like like a Frozen novelty, or I don't know. I would love to read and find out. <laughs> sure. sure, it's probably incredibly funny and entertaining for the first couple of hours once you've opened the present. But every novelty gift quickly becomes an eyesore for the rest of the year. Really, how likely are you to use that bum bag with a man's hairy belly printed on it, or a golf set designed to be played while you're doing your business on the bog? The bog. Um. So it's like those like knickknacks that's what it is gotcha. just like rain like little little shit like again like the the fanny pack that's got like a yeah. gut yeah stupid nick you like ventura. that don't you no, nick ventura got one of those yeah i know <laughs> oh he got it from the secret sam no last oh, year i was gonna say um, i know he's got one last year's um secret santa Se well, it wasn't secret santa but white christmas so white oh, elephant white elephant yeah it's like novelty gifts are just dumb um oh god number 12 anything exercise or diet related again you're probably like it's you're saying like this person's fat or needs to diet or some yeah. shit i think that's justified if they're like hey like i really want to like i really want to go on a diet but i like don't even know i don't know how i don't know where to start yeah one tell them to fucking google it idiots true two you can get them like a like a, a book i guess you still also don't know like you google stuff and you're just like Dude, there's so much there is there is yeah so if you were like get them like a you know 17 different diets to try and maybe they like pick one that they think is interesting or if they're like i really want to get into exercising 
don't get him a gym membership because that's going to go to waste. Um, I don't know. Get him a pair of dumbbells, a set of dumbbells. How do you, I want to know how you give somebody a gym membership now. You know, can you even? Sure, you can. Because it's like, you would have to go there. Yeah. But like, I want to get it for this person. This is their information. Because you couldn't do it online. Right. Because it's going to ask Yeah, I'm sure like, you just go in and get their, you just give them their information. It's not that like they need your license, right? I don't know what they need. I've I don't go to the gym. Online and, you know, ask for my information. Um, number 13, and this is the last one, is I'm the gift. One of the worst offenses uh, are people who shamelessly who shamelessly don't have the fact they didn't bother getting a gift at all. Instead, they come in smug as can be and state that they're the gift. That's pretty dumb. Yeah, that's like if I were to come home from Florida and be like, and you seen me in like three months. Yeah, I'm the Christmas gift, guys. It's me. I came up. Fuck no. You'd all be like, get the fuck. Well, no, none of you would say get the fuck out, but like, I would. You would. If I had you for my secret Santa, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Um. So, yeah, don't be, don't be the gift. Nobody wants, you. unless you, you know that, 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 what's that commercial for, what's that coffee? Folgers. Folgers. There's a Folgers commercial. Um, where this guy like this young man is coming home it's it's uh i think he was like it's made it seem like he was like a soldier but he's not like dressed as as a soldier he's just like he's just like coming home he's been away for a very long time comes home like early christmas morning or christmas eve morning or whatever and his sister opens the door and she goes i thought you weren't supposed to be back until yada yada yada." he goes like i caught an earlier flight and he they're like drinking some coffee he gives her a little little box a little gift and she takes the bow off it sticks it on him and she goes you're my gift this year first of all everybody thinks that they're fucking um and there's been a remake of that commercial where there's like they added more on it looks like like an snl skit almost but it's i don't think that it is but it's like the parents come down because at the end of the commercial it ends with like parents coming down the stairs and be like oh my god our son's home and the and the end of the fake commercial uh, or in the middle part of the fake commercial, they come down and they're like, what the hell are you doing here? We sent you away because you're clearly trying to fuck your sister. And they start like making out. It's what? it's fucking weird, dude. Because the commercial is a little bit, it's a little bit cringy. Like it's supposed to be very sweet. She goes, oh, you've been gone for so Like you're my gift this year. I don't need anything else. You're home. I'm happy. But it looks like they're like about to start fucking on the counter right then and there. <laughs> it's fucking, if you haven't seen this commercial, Folger's, Brother sister commercial. I remember him like opening the door and like, oh, you weren't so like, I don't know your play, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't remember her sticking a bow. If you look up Folger's incest commercial, you'll find the original and the <laughs> the incest version. It's fucking hilarious. But um yeah, don't be the gift because nobody wants you. Excuse me. Sorry. So that, that, that. okay, hold on. I take a picture of this guy like uh, that I work with, he, I, I don't know why, why he brought this up or why he looked it up or something like that, but he saw this woman named Anna Taylor created a list of, of phrases that are used often, but they're, they're a little negative. Okay. And they, they should be, it should, instead of this, say this, right? Okay. So, and they're so stupid, dude, I would, I, I, uh when we were talking about it dude i was like if somebody said this to me i would literally want to hit them so instead of we're going to pull the trigger we're going to launch because it's like oh trigger means you're gonna like shoot somebody you know that's what this whole thing was about yeah <laughs> yeah so it's like literally it's like a whole remake on shit like this so it's like i'll take a stab at it i'll take the first pass at it Okay. Did we jump with a gun? Because it's got gun in there. Yeah. Did we start too soon? So well, that's like, just, I know. That's it's just painfully obvious. obvious. Yeah. This, there's one dude that's so fucking. I'll bite the bullet. I won't avoid it any longer. So, bullet is the thing. That'll kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> That'll feed two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Uh, <laughs> Gotta what, feed two birds with one scone. What's the deadline? What's the due date? Uh, oh, because dead. We have to pick our battles. 
Um, battles are not good, you know, stuff like that. Who is this bitch? I don't know. Um, we have to choose our opportunities. Oh, can you shoot me an email? Can you send me an email? That was overkill. That was a bit excessive. I bombed the presentation. I didn't do my best. Let's just roll with the punches. Let's just move forward. We can soften the blow by, we can make it a little easier by. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I'm going to take a guess. I uh, say shot in the dark all the time. Yeah. It's just like, dude, that's just what it is. That's not a bad idea. That's a good idea. What? <laughs> Instead of that's not a bad idea because bad is like negative. You say, that's a good idea, you know? No, because it's not a good idea. It's not a bad one, but it's not good. Well, like, that's not a bad idea, but maybe this. Um, let's not beat a dead horse. Let's not focus on that anymore. Nah, I, was, I like that one. I, I was blown away by her presentation. I was impressed by her presentation. I was kicking around an idea. I was thinking through an idea. He's a straight shooter in meetings. He's pretty direct in meetings. Yeah, so this is just like all, well, instead of this, because it brings a negative tone to it. Yeah. People are so soft no. nowadays. And it's just like, nobody's going to get offended or upset if I say, don't beat a dead horse. Yeah. Or that's not a bad idea. If I say to you, that's not a bad idea. If somebody says to me, that's not a bad idea. I'd be pretty happy. Hey, no kid. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's not a bad idea. The one, the one. Let, let's feed two birds with one scum. I love that. It's just like, I might use that. It was just like what the fuck. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's just fun. Like, could you imagine bringing that up to like, like, like an older person, like yeah, someone who definitely knows the phrase, yeah, two birds with one scum, yeah, and you're like, hey, let's let's feed two birds with one scum, and they'd be like what it's killed two birds with one stone you fucking moron <laughs> that's like like i recently like in the past four years learned that it's an old wives tale yeah not an old wise tale i thought i was <laughs> yeah, i'm gonna be telling us that and i actually learned around this time of year and it was probably probably four years ago uh could have been four years ago today, for all I know, because I know it was, I was, I was with Natalie. I was in North Carolina for Christmas. Um, and it could have been fucking today, four years ago, that I learned that it was Old Wives' Tale, which makes no sense. Well, how does Old Wives' Tale make any Well, like, sense? you know, like, like a, like an old wise man. He tells a lot of stories, a lot of tales. Old Wives' Tale. Oh. <laughs> what is Old Wives' Tale? It's just the same. Yeah, I know it's just the same. It's fucking dumb wise tale yeah and i'm not the only one that thinks that by the way i'm sure you're not okay i'm just fine funny i'm not the one dumbass <laughs> but the more you know um anyways and we can get pretty close to wrapping it up here but uh what's like the one thing you're really hoping for in two days like what's one gift you're really hoping to get i don't even think i asked for anything <laughs> Dude, I sent mom, uh, like, I so I just keep, just for, to preface this, I keep a running list on my phone of just stuff I want. And it, it just builds throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, I will go through it and I'll delete stuff that I got throughout the year, either for myself or as a gift, whether it's birthday or Christmas, and I'll just go in and delete it. Um, But I sent that list. Um, And I typically add a lot more stuff around the holidays. That's when I'm out shopping. I'm like, oh, I'd like that. I should toss it on the list. Um, I sent that entire list to mom. She was like, what do you want for Christmas? I sent the whole thing and I go just a heads up. Cause it's like 50 lines long. I was like, just heads up. I don't want all of this for Christmas. This is just a running list all year long of stuff that I want. I'm not expecting any or all. Um, she most wouldn't of, get you all. No, no, God, no. Um, I was like, most of the stuff that I want is like clothes, books, board games, or like party games. Um, and she was like, oh, good. Because I had like a new laptop um, that I've been asking for, not asking for, but I've been wanting for like 10 years. Um, I put like, I, know, I put a bunch of electronics on there that I know I'm not going to get, but I always ask for them. Um, 
but yeah, I sent that long ass list to mom and I was like, I kind of want, I mean, like, obviously I want all of it. The things that I asked for, new dirt bike, four grand, not getting that. No, God, no. Uh, zero points on lawnmower, four grand, not getting that. Dude, I'm talking <laughs> about one of those. Um, what else did I ask for? Uh, it was just like stupid stuff. I was like a house. Give me a house. Yeah. Um, dude, imagine you get a lawnmower Christmas morning. Dude, I'd go cut the lawn. Right then and there. 100%. <laughs> absolutely. Dude, you would not need cutting. No. But, um, yeah, dude, I just won't. It's just a toy. Yeah. That's all I think of it as. It's yep, just like, absolutely. it makes cutting the lawn fun. fun. Yeah. And even just a regular riding lawnmower. More fun than a push, for sure. Yeah. Definitely more fun than a push. Yeah. You remember um, when we got... When I had asked for a manual lawnmower. Yeah, you got that red one. Yeah, and then you also got one. I didn't get one. Dad just gave me the one that we already had. Oh, I, I thought he had like found it. No, I like purchased like a cheapo one somewhere. No, I think... Uh, uh, I thought he got that one. Like, may, like, maybe. Maybe he got yours practice. and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he just got me this yeah. How fucking this dumb were we? Rusty ass. Yeah, gross <laughs> ass lawnmower. Barely turned. But I, when we were younger... I asked for a manual push, like with the spinning blades on mower to manually cut the grass. Mind you, we live on a fucking giant plot of land. Yeah, dude, that would be good for, and one, you can only use it if you cut the lawn every day. Basically, it. yeah. Because if at it, the very most, you have to, or at the very, at the very most, a week. Yeah. Because anything more than a week, the grass is too tall, gets fucking clogged. You're like, shh, yeah. shh, shh. should shh. not work. Go out there with scissors, it'd be faster. But I, I was like, why am I so, my pa- mom and dad were probably so happy to buy me that thing. Like, oh, yeah, Thinking, he's yeah, he's going to cut the lawn for us. Used it what? Once? Maybe, maybe three times. And it was yeah. only ever like back there by the, right. by the. And it get caught. Yeah. Immediately. It's like, what's going on? You still want you fucking moron. Yeah. Yeah. Sucked. How, so stupid of me. Worst gift I ever asked for. Um, I think. Um, mom, dad, dad told mom to give me a shotgun. Nice. And uh, she's not getting you that. She goes, um, he he was like, yeah. She asked, what for? And he was like, home defense. And home invasion. <laughs> and then she, and then he brought it up, and like we were downstairs, and he was like, yeah, you're getting the shotgun, right? She's like, what do you need it for? And I was like. Home defense. <laughs> home invasion. Um, I actually think I said home invasion. Yeah. Um, and she's like, my only worry is that I get it and then something happens and then I feel guilty. Oh. And, I, and I was like, I was, and then she's like, I could get you, I was like, you give me the money and I'll get it. And then I bought it. <laughs> and she's like, I can get you a gift card to like Cabela's. And I was like, I don't care. I probably won't buy a shotgun with it, but maybe I would because I've been wanting to get one. So yeah. if I got like a $50 gift card shotgun or <laughs> yep. for a shotgun at Cabela's, I'd probably buy one. Wouldn't make much of a dent, but no, 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 no. But yeah. you know, it's like, I think again, it's like 400 cards. bucks. I like, and again, it's just because I'm a fucking greedy bitch, but like, you know what you can't make it, you know what you can't. M- when I wake up Christmas morning, the most satisfying thing is walking out to the Christmas tree and seeing a fuck ton of presents underneath it. You know what you can't do with gift cards? Make it look like there's a fuck ton of presents under the tree. Even if there's a fuck ton of money there, it doesn't look full. When you just lay gift cards out? Dumb. Yeah. No, those are stocking stuffers. Yeah, well, guess what? You're 27. The Christmas tree is going to have like four gifts on it. I know. And it's <laughs> stupid. I hate it. That's why I want to be rich so badly. Because I think rich people wake up every Christmas with like a billion and a half gifts under their tree. They might. Probably. But they also just, and my thing is, it's like when I want something, I just get it. Yeah, see, I don't. So it's just like, and I, not that I should, I mean, I, I, I definitely want stuff, but the things that I want are too expensive. Absolutely. Or that, I, or also when I want something, I'm just like, do I need it though? Yeah. You know? Because it's like, uh like i don't know i can't even think of something like i'm like oh i want this but yeah. it's just for that time being and then it's just like and then i lose interest yeah it's like well i just wasted my money on that you know sure like i want a new dirt bike and that's why i haven't pulled the trigger yet because it's like 
Am That's I? why you haven't gone forward with it yet. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, because... Or launched. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I haven't launched, launched. yet. Uh, see, that'd be stupid. So dumb. That's why I haven't launched yet. Because <laughs> that's what people say about like relationships. When you like, remember when Sarah was like talking, telling soft her about launch. soft launch, hard launch. Stupid. She was soft She's launch for a little launch. bit. Yeah. She's hard launch. Yeah, She's she has hard launch. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out, Sarah. Shout out, kick ass glass. Yep. Uh, get you some, get some cool. From yeah, that. get some handmade glass, re reused glass, recycled glass, upcycled glass, yes. re where? recycled alcoholic glasses. Yep, at kickassglass.com or uh, I don't think they have a website. I think they did. Kickassglass on Etsy. Oh yeah, um, but either way, it's like at the moment, like like I told you, I did like two, I did two dirt bike races. Yeah, and then during that, I'm just like, man, dude, I want a dirt bike, you know. And I should get a new one because it's like either way, it's nice to have. It might sit there for a while, and then I'll touch it every once in a while, like every one year. Because also, when it comes with dirt bikes, it's like, yeah, I gotta maintain that shit, dude. Yeah, I gotta do oil changes. I gotta buy mm -hmm. shit. That's like, I don't got that kind of money. Yeah, that's like that's why I don't use it. You know. So yeah, I don't think. Um, I think with my so there's not one thing you're really hoping for on Christmas. <laughs> Uh, realistically, no. Uh, I I don't. Santa I'm, knows what you want. He'll come with it. Um. Yeah. Realistically, I think. Um. I don't think I on my on my secret Santa thing. I I'm pretty sure. Um. I put a I put a Carhartt duffel bag on there. I saw that. I would like that. And if I don't get, it, I'm gonna go buy it though. No. So <laughs> the way I'm it's getting. funny because like when I like started looking through like here's. Rec just like recommended gifts that was also like the number one thing on mine like here try put this to you on your wrist i was like i don't have a double bag what i'm gonna do with that yeah my double bag is um you know that blue one i have yeah if you ever seen it um it's it's ripped oh um, and it's it was so you need you a new know, duffel bag yeah and, and i'm sure you know car it's gonna be my duffel bag is ancient i also need a new duffel bag but like I want to see. What I think I we need put. to start using suitcases like normal people. I put right here, dude. I got three gift cards right in a, in a row. In a row. Um, I didn't put a single. I I like. I think I'm gonna start telling people in future years. Do not get me gift cards. Do not do it. I, I like. I don't want them. The the Tim Hortons gift cards that Uncle Dave gets us. I'm always so grateful for. But I leave them in Florida, and so I drove up here. No gift cards. Go to Tim Hortons yesterday. Spent twenty six bucks. Had to had to fucking fork over twenty six bucks. How'd you leave? Why'd you leave in Florida? You know you're coming to Buffalo. Because I forget them. Same reason I forgot my Santa hat in Florida. They're in a box in my closet with all my other Christmas gifts from Uncle Dave, and I forget them. Leave them here. That's what I was thinking. But then you'll use them. Leave them in your room. I'm not going to touch them. They're yours. I'm not a dick. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've got Chick fil A gift card. So it's like, I never go to Chick-fil-A. But if you would, if you had a gift card. I definitely would if I had a gift card. Yeah. I, and I went the other day because I was like craving it. But I really don't go out to like fast food places unless one, I'm out like, like let's say gyms. You know, it's like, I'm not going to go out and get that. But like, I'm out on the town. I'm getting gyms. Yeah. At midnight. Of course. Um, But sometimes like, and I was, and I was I'm really craving something. I went to Sonic the other day to get a milkshake because I was like, I wanted it the one day, but it was like midnight and I was like, I don't feel like getting up. But then I was like, passing, I was like, dude, I'm going to get this. But Chick fil A gift card, Checkers gift card. Um, haven't had Checkers in forever. Um, Peter Gourmet. I don't know if this is a new place, but it's like Greek. It's just like the pitas they make, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Um, I did two two candies, sweet tart ropes, and the extreme airheads. Like I haven't had those in a while. So. Yeah. Um, I did see your wish list, by the way. Oh, yeah. I also snooped at everyone else too. Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell the podcast. Downey Cider. Shout out Downey Cider. Spelled it. Um, I asked the Carhartt thing, and um, these polarized sunglasses. Those are just what you need. Yeah. I mean, I haven't. Uh, I haven't used my sunglasses in like I have my whole you know yeah thing, but I haven't used. I use pretty much the ones in my truck, the nicer ones, and if I go out, I still just grab like the nicer ones. I don't really use Fourth of July ones. I'll use my black ones. But yeah, those, those look nice. Look expensive. Yeah. I have one pair of sunglasses. 
and they're like seven years old, and I need new ones badly. Yeah, but you have transition lenses. So. No, I have prescription sunglasses. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, but I need new ones. Because oh, those are the ones you're talking about. Yeah, the prescription is like seven years old. Yeah, and my my eyes have gotten worse, and those glasses haven't gotten any better. Yeah, so I can't see shit out of them anymore. But uh, yeah. I don't know the one thing I'm really hoping for, but uh, I know that if I open a fuck ton of clothes, I won't be upset, but I won't be the happiest. And, and a knowing mom, that's what she's going to give me is mostly clothes. I'll definitely take... I mean, I I, I'd love a couple item. sweaters. I'd love some more pants um, because I only have like three or four pairs of pants that I really wear. So I'd love more pants. Um, and again, I love sweaters. So uh, if I get those, I will be happy. But I'm really hoping for like some party games. That's like the big thing. I asked for a couple board games, a couple party games. Like if I get those, I'll be very happy. Yeah. Um, books, again, I asked for those. But like if I don't get the books, I've already got way too many. So it's not really the end of the world if I don't get them. Um, yeah, I would be, not that I asked for it. I don't know, I'm expecting it. But like I, I usually get like an item of clothing. Yeah. New new sweater. Yeah. New shirt. Um, I, I'll probably open that on Christmas. So I'd be cool to get that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would say um or the gift cards. I will hundred percent like here. If I if I open trash, three gift cards trash gift to Checkers, Chick-fil-A, and Pita Gourmet. All all on my gift. Yeah, you'll be good. Just like 10 bucks on each of them, and then like what was our max? 50, 50 bucks, something like that. I think so, yeah. Um, and then the extra 20 is just like I don't know how much the double bag. If the double bag is twenty bucks, which is definitely not because it's Carhartt, it's probably like fifty bucks. Yeah. Um, but it was twenty. If I got ten dollars to Checkers, Chick Fil A, Peter Gourmet, and then I got the double bag, dude, I'd be like, yes, <laughs> that would be pretty sick. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we can probably wrap it up. You want to take it to trivia? Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Random Rivia Jim. Okay, there we go. Pick a number 25? Sure. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Uh, which national reserve? I'll uh, get a question on my. Which national reserve ended in 2015 after the Supreme Court declared it was unconstitutional? I don't what? fucking know. National reserve, like money? That's what I think, but I don't know. But unconstitutional money is not unconstitutional. Yeah, but it was probably like, uh, I don't know. No. I don't know what a reserve is. But then I just find out. National Raisin Reserve. What? I don't know. What the fuck? You're going to 25 again just yet words of a poet emma lazarus on which u.s monument okay we just have the name of u.s monument i don't know who the fuck emma, emma lazarus is but um let me go to my um u.s monument dude i know like three um I'm saying, I'm saying, oh, I'll just keep it. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I haven't written mine down yet. I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm currently in the lead. I'm four, you have zero. Um, okay. Which U.S. monument? Fuck it, I don't know, dude. I'm saying the Lincoln Memorial. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, you so, can say it. Yeah, that's, that's that's all I'm saying. Her line, some statue. Oh, dude, I literally you're just... tired to pour your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free. Fuck! I was just about to like. I was like, I only know three, and I was thinking Washington Monument, the Lincoln like Memorial, and statue Mount Rushmore. Oh, Mount Rushmore. And then I was like, oh, Statue of Liberty, and I was like, no, nah, I've watched, uh, I watched National Treasure, and I don't remember that. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they went to the one in the fence. Okay, well, let's try again. Oh, wait, we should be doing Christmas trivia. Should be. But we never find good... I know. Random Christmas. Some random Egyptian desert. Trivia. Uh... Oh, that's purple. It means we already collected it. Oh, okay. was it? From last year. They're all purple. Oh, never mind. Go back. <laughs> I'm not sure about the answers right there. Yep. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? I mean, scroll down. It just says with answers. Scroll down, like just. And, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, well, we're almost there. Uh, I can see it. Fuck. Scroll down is a need. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What was the first company that used Santa Claus in advertising? Okay. The first company that used Santa Claus in advertising. I mean, it's got to be like an old company, right? Yeah, dude. Santa Claus has been around for ages, forever. He's Santa Claus. Um. But in ad, how long has advertising been around? Also forever. Yeah. Um. Ah, there's no way this is right. You know what? I'm going to do it, though. I'm not confident. I have two answers. I'm going with one of them, and I think I'm wrong. Say hey, Toys R Us. That's a good one. I said Coca-Cola. I think it might be Macy's, though, just because, you know, it's Macy's. The answer is Coca-Cola. I don't trust it. Let's come on. Don't trust it. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Fuck. God, you know, I'll pick another one, but I, I did not know that. I, I was like, as soon as you scrolled, I could see like this CC, and I was like, ah, maybe he saw it. I didn't see it. I swear. God damn it. Now I can't get to the next one. Well, 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 well. What are Christmas trees also called? Okay. Can't see the answer at all. Can't, can't see, see the answer at all. Dude, I thought, no, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. I know you don't believe me. They probably don't believe me, but that, that was a good one. Um, what are Christmas trees also called? I, I'll Fucking believe you. Pine trees? But I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Christmas trees also called. Um, I got it. No no shot you got it. I got it. <laughs> I, I don't know how to spell it, but go ahead. Evergreens. I said Tannenbaum because that song... Oh, Christmas tree. It's also, isn't it like, oh, it's, I'm guessing, I'm thinking I'm wrong because it's saying, what is a Christmas tree also called? Like, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking I'm wrong. Yule tree. Fucking what? what? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Cause it was, it was going more like, what is a Christmas tree also called? Yeah. You know, not just what is the tree called? Oh, that's the end of it. Uh, okay. Oh, I see that one. There we go. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what was the na first name of... What was the what? What was the first name of Scrooge? Oh. Ebenezer. What did the other reindeer not let Rudolph do because of this shiny red nose? Is that what that says? Yeah. Wait. I mean, they didn't let him do a lot of shit. What did the other reindeer not let... I know. I think a song. Yeah, you're gonna get it right now. <laughs> Join in any reindeer games. Yeah. <laughs> but what if that's not it? That's definitely it. Join in any reindeer games. This black bar is fucking. I know. What are two other most popular names for Santa Claus? I can already see Nick, so I can't do this one. <laughs> no, just just scroll slowly. Oh, this will be good. Elvis isn't going to have a white Christmas. He's going to have a... I know. It. Blue, 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 blue Christmas. <laughs> oh, ah. I have a blue... Ah. Oh, wait. No, no, it's not. 
In Home Alone, what are the McAllisters going on? Where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind? I know where they're going in Home Alone 2, but they don't leave Kevin behind there. Actually, no, I think they he went to New York. They did they weren't. Where the fuck yeah. did they go? In the first one. In the first one. Home Alone, where the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind. So they live in New York, don't they? No. No. Oh. They live in fucking Ohio or some shit. In the second movie, they're going somewhere, and he gets on the wrong plane and goes to New York. Right, okay. Um, meets Donald Trump. Yeah. I'm locked in. This is a good one. I'm I thinking... I don't like... know. And you never focus on where the fuck they're going. I, don't know. I, don't I know they say it though. I don't know. I can only think of warm places. That place is warm. Uh, I'm just gonna say. Uh, I'm just gonna say. Uh, Orlando. I don't know. <laughs> They're going to Orlando? Yeah. Okay. You might be closer. Uh, I said Paris. That for some reason, that sticks out in my head. It's definitely, it's it's within the States. I don't know that it is. Paris! <laughs> you didn't see the answer. You know I didn't scroll past it. Oh, shit. I got it this time. I know that, but like. That's no big. They went to Paris. Yeah, because they're like, it's like Kevin's dad is paying for this whole trip for like the entire fucking family to go to Paris. Uh, I'm Paris. And they get there to the nice hotel, but then they like immediately fucking. They don't leave. No, they don't. So like the mom leaves. She stays at the airport. She fucking bails and gets back. And then they all caught the next flight and get home like five minutes after she does. So really, she could have just like stayed with them in Paris. Yeah, but... Still can't find it. Yeah. What? Still can't find it, right? No, they. After a minute, because didn't she find him at like the big Christmas tree? Yeah. So it's not like they get home and then they find them and then they... They, they shit. Anyways. Yeah. So either way, I definitely write. Okay. And I got Coca-Cola too, so I'm... I'm sure it's good. I'm a Christmas genius. Yeah. Um, I don't know shit. Okay. Anyways, thanks for dealing with us for this Christmas episode. Uh, Dave, where can people find you? Underscore Dave Sharky underscore is my Instagram. D Sharky on my Twitter. You can find him underneath the mistletoe. I any, any ladies out there. <laughs> Just uh um, ding, ding, ding. um yeah, I'm available for uh during Christmas season, New York New Year's Eve, um, if you need a New Year's kiss. Hey, they hit up your boy. I can shave. It's not He's just going for the young Christmas the young Chris Kringle look. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going as long as I can, though. But if a kiss is involved and I have to shave, then you know, I probably won't do it. <laughs> um, uh, eat of the week. Anything spectacular? I know what mine is. Let me. Uh, let me just look at the past. What is this week? Eighteenth. 20th. I'm gonna go meatloaf. I had meatloaf the other day. Ugh. Uh barbecue sauce on my titties. Um mashed potatoes. Yeah. Nice. Uh you can follow me on my photography Instagram, Sharky underscore photography. My regular Instagram is secret agent sharky. My YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Joe Sharky7. My eat of the week is without a doubt yesterday's pizza and wings mm. from Pasquale's. Yeah, I was gonna go that, but that's—I mean, I have to because I've been gone for so long. Yeah. Um. So delicious. Um. As for the podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at CSG Pod. That is CSG P O D. Follow us on TikTok at the Shuffle Podcast. Where we post our clips from the podcast and subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all at the Shuffle Podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. We will talk at you next week. 
uh, I believe, in separate houses again. Yeah. I don't remember when I'm leaving. Um, and Merry Christmas, everybody. And next week, we'll wish you Happy New Year. New Year, so go fuck yourself for now. But Happy Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye, everybody. It's a little baby.